Welcome back to Vision Miner 3D Printing News. Today we're talking about Lockheed Martin, the aerospace and defense contractor, and they've just awarded a contract to Sigma Labs for its PrintWrite 3D in-process quality assurance technology. Uh, what does that exactly mean? Basically, you're going to think of PrintWrite 3D as the enterprise aerospace-grade version of Octoprint. It's print management, CAD simulation, and a modeling system that works directly with DED, or Direct Energy Deposition Systems, from OEMs like MetalFab and DMG Mori. Now, PrintWrite 3D is one of Sigma Labs' premier products, and they've been one of the firm's key growth drivers over the past year. PrintWrite consists of hardware and software modules that provide quality assurance and in-process monitoring capabilities. PrintWrite combines inspection, feedback, data collection, uh, and critical analysis to find potential anomalies that might occur during the printing process. And this cuts down time on post-production testing where parts are validated for their actual use cases. Lockheed Martin's Additive Design and Manufacturing Center in Sunnyvale, California will assess the viability and performance of PrintWrite 3D technology for use in defense and civil space programs. After a review of our needs and potential solutions, we selected the Sigma PrintWrite 3D system because of its robust analysis capabilities, quality assurance solutions, data capture technology, and scalability across various OEM 3D printing platforms, said Christy Farley, Vice President of Spacecraft and Missile Engineering at Lockheed Martin Space. Now, Lockheed Martin has always been a huge proponent of 3D printing in aerospace. We've worked with them, just about everybody else has worked with them. Great guys over there, many people over there actually. Uh, and their 3D printed parts have traveled as far as Jupiter. And they're currently being used in NASA's Orion program, uh, military satellites, and even in missiles. Now, in the past, the aerospace giant has used additive manufacturing to create domes for high-pressure fuel tanks on board satellites as part of development programs to create huge, mission-capable satellite buses known as the LM2100 series. Back in 2017, they invested $350 million in a state-of-the-art satellite production facility with industrial-grade 3D printers and virtual immersion environments. Their Sunnyvale-based Additive Design and Manufacturing Center became UL3400 certified for additive in 2018, meeting all the safety and hazard mitigation procedures for handling 3D printers, powdered materials, and factory operations. We've got all the latest and greatest 3D printing news here every week, so like this video if you enjoyed it, and make sure you subscribe so you know when the next one comes out. Until then, have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one.